Good morning, Cal Young. Uh, this is day three of the ALICE training. Um, thank you for your active engagement and participation on day one and two. Um, today, we are gonna finalize a couple of things. One thing we're gonna talk about is one more piece of ALICE as far as lockdowns go. Remember, ALICE is really referencing lockdowns. Um, what's called a counter, and we'll talk about that. Uh, and then we'll do an evacuation as the final step. Before we go further, teachers, please pause so that your class can review what happened yesterday. What was talked about? What does Alice mean? What does lockdown mean? And uh, you spoke a little bit about barricades. Uh, so maybe you should talk about what, what that looked like in your class or what are some of the things you thought would be important to know. Stop now for... Two minutes. All right, thank you. And uh, now we'll go on. I'll do my, my share screen and hopefully this will work again. You should see Thursday and uh, moving on to the next slide. So again, this is, this is part of Alice, which is related to lockdowns. There is an there's a person on campus that's dangerous. He, this person has assaulted staff members and is looking for other staff members potentially to harm. So what can we do to, to counter that intruder? Um, let's say you're, you're in your room, you've, you've locked the door, you've barricaded the door, and you are hearing from announcements that this person is um, up in the uh, second floor, heading down uh, towards the open area where there are a lot of tables and, and uh, chairs and um, partitions. So if you're there and you know that person is coming and they start to try to open the door and they somehow get it open because you weren't able to barricade it well, what, what could you do? If this person was really dangerous, what would be the right thing to do? Why don't you um, think about that and um, think about what you could do in that classroom to either confuse or um, protect yourself against that person. Think about that as a, as a group for about two minutes. Staff, uh, pause right now for two minutes. So um, thank you. And you probably looked at all sorts of things that you might be able to do to, to push at that person or even to throw at that person that was really dangerous. Um, there are things that you have in a classroom that you can use to protect yourself. And in a case when there's a dangerous intruder in your space, we want to think about that. We don't want to just hide and um, hunker down and be defenseless. We want to do something to confuse or potentially harm that intruder so that they don't harm, they don't harm us. Um, how do you know when someone's an intruder? Um, what is it, what do you do if it is someone in the building and they, you, you know they don't belong, what could you do? Um, well, you know, an intruder in, in, a, in a case, of course we have badges and we have things like that that indicate whether someone should or should not be on campus. Um, but in addition, you know, if someone was coming in through the main entry and was harming people, we would immediately alert the building of that reality. Um, and if you were in a safe classroom space, that would be wonderful. If you felt like you could get out, that would be another way that you could go. Um, again, Alice is more about thinking through what your situation is as a class listening to the leader in your class and then having them make good decisions for you. Um, what do you do if someone is in the building and you don't think they belong? Of course, you should tell an adult and ask them to look into that. Um, of course, if they're being dangerous, that would become obvious. So we're going to practice an evacuation. Um, we're going to listen 
for the announcements. We're going to exit the nearest door to a safe location. We're going to ignore alarms and bells. And the reason we would do that in this situation is because that intruder, that harmful person um, could uh, be pulling fire alarms to try to get people to come out so that they could harm more people. So in a case where it is a lockdown, you would ignore alarms and bells and you listen for a trusted voice. Um, if, if I was being asked to say things that, that weren't accurate, I would do my best to alert people of that in the way that I speak on the announcements. I doubt that would happen though. And I say that because the amount of time uh, from when an intruder came in and got me on the announcements, um, it would take a good two to three minutes. And you may or may not know this, but from a 911 call, the police would be here within four or five minutes. It would be very fast. Uh, probably that is longer than it would take them. Um, so they probably wouldn't use that as a strategy to get me to say things, uh, but you would ignore all alarms and bells. And uh, think about what exits you have at your disposal if you're going to evacuate and forget about the normal routes if, if we're in this situation of a lockdown. What exits do you have? And you do still need to go in an organized way, but what exits do you have available to you that you don't normally use in a fire drill? Um, so we are going to practice that. And I, I want you to think about um, you know, what you would do if you're not in a classroom when a lockdown happens, where would you go? Um, and, and who tells us where to go? Well, of course, if I can say things over the announcements about where to go, I would. Um, you may evacuate from a different space, but eventually you all would go to the same place that we normally go to, which is the field. And again, by the time you were able to get there, it is very likely that the, the police would be managing the situation. If you didn't feel that it was a safe place to go, then you wouldn't go there. And we would find a way to have you get there later when you did feel it was safe. So right now, um, I think teachers should stop the, um, the video and I will do an announcement at about 1010 or 1012 maybe to start an evacuation. I will not be pulling fire drills. I will ask for an evacuation. Thank you for participating again and um, wait for the evacuation in a few moments.